An act of violence that changed the lives of many San Diegans. Two years ago, Ernest John Ernest entered the Habad of Poway armed with a rifle on the final day of Passover. He shot and killed one beloved community member and injured several others, including a little girl and her uncle. Today, sentencing starts for the state charges against him. ABC 10 News reporter Nate Holmes joins us live from downtown. Nate, this will be a tough day for the more than dozen people planning to deliver victim impact statements. At Virginia, I can only imagine the chilling statements that will come out of the courtroom this morning. Nearly 20 people are expected to take the stand and share uh, what happened on that day. Now, over the past two years, ABC 10 News have uh, made close contact with many people close to this case. Here's what Mayor Steve Voss had to say. I really don't think there's any such thing as justice unless you could turn the clock back. Our hearts are with Lori Kay's family now and always. We will never forget this. And we continue to stand with our Jewish brothers and sisters. Now, Lori Gilbert Kay was inside the lobby during the time of the shooting, and she was killed after jumping between the shooter and Rabbi Goldstein, who was in, who was also hit in his hands. A little girl and her uncle wounded as well. Now, John Ernest faces state and federal charges against him. Federal prosecutors say that they will not seek the death penalty, but Ernest is expected to get life in prison without the possibility of parole in the federal case. Now, Ernest pleaded guilty to all of the state charges against him including the arson of a mosque at Escondido. Now, he is slated to get 137 years to life in the state's case, which was court will begin session, a court session will begin at 8.30 this morning, and that's when we will be able to hear those chilling statements we can imagine from the victims during that time. Live in downtown, Nate Holmes, ABC 10 News.